I'm China from GBF. I'm Gavin from 1061 Kiss FM. And we're here to review Spider Man Homecoming, which we both saw. When did you see it? I saw it on Thursday night because I'm an OG. I saw it on Sunday because that's when I had time. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, we had some differing opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're both wearing our Spider Man shirts. I'm a course Represent. re Representing. Representing. Um, I thoroughly loved Spider Man Homecoming. I thought it was fantastic. I really loved it. I thought Tom Holland did a great job as Spider-Man and Peter Parker, mm -hmm. which I feel the last few Spider-Men, the past two, uh, Tobey Maguire was, was a good Spider-Man, not a great Peter Parker. He was, we were just happy that we got a Spider-Man film we were. with that. We had nothing we to complain about. We were so young, about. we didn't know better. We didn't know, we were just happy to get a Spider-Man. We had no complaints, we were just like, at least we got yeah. it. <laughs> and no, in retrospect, we're like, eh, Spider-Man 2 still holds up though. Spider-Man 2 is a great film. Yeah. Uh, but... Tobey Maguire wasn't a great Peter Parker. Andrew Garfield, I felt, was a great Peter I Parker. I liked him. I liked him, too. I liked him. It's just his movies were hot garbage. Oh, yeah, the scripts were awful. They were so bad. They were so no, bad. Fact, after I saw Spider-Man Homecoming, I went home, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was on TV, and I realized how hot garbage it was after I saw Oh, no, I <laughs> realized in the theater how hot garbage it was, but... I didn't realize until recently. But we should be thankful that Amazing Spider-Man 2 was so hot garbage that Sony went to Marvel and said, take him back and we'll share him. Yeah. We'll, we'll share custody mm -hmm. of him. And the movie made like $117 million at the box office, which is really good. A lot. Lots of money. Lots of money. Um, but yeah, so I love the movie. I thought it, it really hit that good balance of fun and action. Not Spider-Man 2, you're talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm talking about Spider-Man Homecoming right now. <laughs> I have transitioned. I'm giving the film... We're reviewing a movie that's like four I know. years old. I'm giving the film... I'm praising a Spider-Man film, so no, I'm not talking about Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man 2. But you have some... Uh, you, you get a bit of a different opinion. I did. I don't... I don't know what it was about it. I don't know if it's because I'm used to the crap Spider-Mans that we've gotten. It was so different for me. I thought I thought the ending was a little cheese. Yes. I did admit that. It was very Disney. Like, the villain is his own comeuppance. The hero basically didn't do anything. It was just the villain, his own downfall. Oh, how Disney. Irony, because Disney owns Marvel now. But anyway. And Star Wars. And Star Wars. But I just it didn't do anything for me. It felt like, in the, in the span of all the Marvel movies, it felt like a Marvel filler. Like, you know, like in it TV episodes. It kind of felt like, so the, would you say it kind of felt like Ant-Man? I, I thoroughly enjoyed Ant-Man. No, I liked Ant-Man, I loved Ant-Man. I, I liked Ant-Man as well. I didn't think Ant-Man was a filler. I thought this one was a filler. I don't know what it was about it. I, li I liked it. I enjoyed it. It just wasn't like a, oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've seen this summer. And you had mentioned yeah. earlier that, that it might have felt like filler because we went in with these characters already established. Yeah, because we grew up seeing so many Spider-Man origin stories, like you're just assu assuming that you're going to get Spider-Man origin story number three. Let's go see Uncle Ben die again. I and don't feel like the movie was <laughs> hurt by that, though. No, 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 it wasn't. It was just like we're so already programmed to think, yeah. like, this is what we expect out of certain Spider-Man movies. And the fact that they did it correctly and that you don't have to make every mm -hmm. Spider-Man movie an origin story. Take note, Zack really Snyder. <laughs> we don't need to see the Waynes die every Batman. Every single time. Like, uh, it, just, it threw me off. So I'm like, I'm still like processing it. Yeah. So maybe like in a week I'll be like, okay, it was the greatest yeah. movie ever. But right now I'm just very confused. I did. <laughs> I did think for a minute that the sandwich guy who Peter meets at the beginning of the movie... We thought he was going to be his Uncle Ben. We thought when they blew up the restaurant, we're like, is this random sandwich? Spoilers. Is this Spoilers. random deli man yes. uh, going to be <laughs> Uncle Ben? But he's not. He's, not. he's not. He's not. He's not. not. Um, I thought there were some really good standouts in the cast. Michael mm -hmm. Keaton as Vulture was fantastic. He's good. It's good to have villains that aren't just like, I'm going to be a dick. It's like he had like yeah. he had reasons. He had reasons. He had reasons. He had reasons. <laughs> And that reason is Tony Stark's fault. Tony Stark, it's always Tony Stark's fault. It's always fault. Tony Stark's fault. Always. Mainly in Marvel movies, it usually boils down to Tony Stark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing we both agree on, though, is it finally felt like these kids are actually in high They're school. They're actually children. They're, it, it's not all the, it's not Tony McGuire being in his mid-20s being like, what's up, my fellow kids? <laughs> what's up? Uh, Andrew Garfield, I felt, kind of felt like high school, too, but these... These mm -hmm. all felt like high school awkward kids. Yeah, like they actually felt like children. Like they, 
what is her name, Liz? Yeah. The girl that he likes, he was like, yeah, she's a senior. And I was like, she's a senior? She's, she's a child. <laughs> she's two years old. Is older? that what seniors look like now? <laughs> I am excited. I, I'm excited for, for the next two because they've already set a date there's for There's going to be two more? Yeah, there's going to be two more. Wow. They're going to follow, uh, allegedly, they're going to follow each of Peter's time in high school. Oh, okay, so, so it's his sophomore year. Or yeah. was it freshman year? He's 15. It was his sophomore year. Okay. This is sophomore year, the next one will be his junior year, and the next one, will, the last one will be his senior year. Maybe by, like, the time... Is that he, what it's going to be called? <laughs> Spider-Man senior year? Spider-Man <laughs> senior year. The Spider-Man club. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm pretty sure that uh, maybe by the, his senior year, by the third movie, we're going to be like, all right, these kids aren't high school anymore. They, he has, like, a five o'clock shadow, and he's smoking in every scene. Yeah. Um, but overall, I thought it was great. I thought this is, I think Tom Holland is now the definitive Spider-Man. He's good. He's good. He's adorable. He is adorable. Um, uh, but yeah, hopefully you come around to think it's the greatest movie ever. Mm -hmm. Maybe next movie we'll actually get him, you know, operating a camera or something. Yeah, he Peter, needs to be a Peter Parker's supposed to be like a photographer and there's no photography at but all. But he had, maybe he hasn't discovered it yet. Again, I'm, I'm going with those old Spider-Man yeah. tropes that I'm used to. Like, Uncle Ben dies. He needs to be a photographer. He needs to be a photographer. There has to be a Hobgoblin or a Green Goblin at some point. <laughs> and we need all the villains in there. We need Venom shoehorned in here somehow. Yes. But he, but he's getting his own movie. So with with no have... reason. No background no, for the villains at all. Whatsoever. Just like, they're just, go. Go be evil. <laughs> Overall, I highly recommend Spider-Man Homecoming. I thought it was great. And you would recommend it sort of, kind of? It's good. It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's good. good. <laughs>